Good Morning Columbia, live from Manager Bay. I can't even do it. Since the 1920s, that song <laughs> has been synonymous with guys who are ridiculously awesome with basketballs. The Harlem Globetrotters, Zeus. Right, hang on a second. Ah, let me just go ahead and prepare for this interview. You're cheating. That's better. No, that's fine. I don't mind a lift. There we go. <laughs> Zeus from the Harlem guy. I'll get rid of this. That's All what your right. eyes look like. I had no idea. Yes, yeah, there you go. You see at the top of my head anyway, man. Well, welcome, brother. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you for having me. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm good. So you are a world-famous Harlem Globetrotter, which yes. is really cool. I remember when I was a kid growing up, uh, I grew up in, in Boston in that area. Man, you guys would come to town, the Generals, and you always won. Yeah, yeah. We actually haven't lost to the Generals since 1971. It's been a while, and uh, we're on a nice little winning streak right now. So the Generals kind of the B team then, right? Yeah, well, they're not very good. They haven't beat us <laughs> in so long, and I actually used to play against the Harlem Globetrotters for the Washington Generals, right. so, you know, I give them a little bit of love here and there, but they're not going to win this uh, this Friday. That's right, that's right. The Colonial Life Arena, you guys are going to be in town taking on the Generals as well. Tell me how one becomes a Globetrotter, man. What's your story? How did you get besides your relative height? Well, um, my path was pretty unconventional in that I used to play against the Globetrotters, but even before that, um, I didn't have a very successful basketball career. Growing up, I didn't make my first team until the 11th grade, so oh it was crazy. I got cut from 6th grade all the way to 10th grade, and in the summer of 10th grade, uh, I grew 5 inches over the summer. Oh my. But I uh, finally made my first team, but all my coaches said I was too nice, and they said, you know, in order to be good in basketball, you got to have this killer instinct, and I never developed that. I'm a minister at my church, so I'm a naturally sure. nice person. I was the type of guy, Tyler, if I foul you, I apologize for it. <laughs> and my, my coaches hated that about me. I had one guy tell me too, he said, you know, all you ever do is smile and dunk. And today I get paid to smile and dunk. So it ended up working out for me. You know, the fans love, no matter if you're a little tiny kid or a big guy, big kid like me, the Globetrotters, it's got to be cool to see those those faces, those kids that, you know, I mean, you probably watched the Globetrotters when you were a kid. Actually, I had never heard of the Globetrotters growing up. Really? I saw them on Scooby-Doo, but I didn't realize it was a real team. You know, Batman's on Scooby-Doo and that's not a real person. Sure. Sure. Did so I ruin you, that for you? No, what? Batman? Next you're no. going to tell me that Easter Bunny ain't real. No, what they're in real. The world? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair. So, so you, you know, you try how do you how do you get recruited to be yeah. a general? Oh, uh, well, I, actually, that was crazy, too. I had never heard of the generals, obviously, either. But a teammate of mine used to play for them. And uh, he told me, he said, you'd be great for it because you suck at defense and, you know, you like to travel the world. I said, well, sign me up. You know, that sounds like a win-win for me. <laughs> and then eventually, I guess the Globetrotters got tired of me dunking on them, and they signed me over to a contract. But it it was when I first saw the Globetrotters play that I knew I wanted to be one, man. Everywhere they go, they're putting smiles on people's faces. And, um, you know, they've been to 122 countries and provinces around the world. And I said that, that would be a great opportunity for me. And be part of that lineage of, of the, you know, since the 1920s, the big names that have come through that everybody remembers. And, yes. and you get to wear the blue and the gold and the red, man. That is so cool. Everybody who, when I walk around and they see the red, white, and blue, you know, it takes them back to a happier time when they went to a game with their parents or with their grandparents. And immediately, even though they don't know me, they'll start telling me about Metal Arc Lynn man and curly nail and all those yep. people yep you have good stuff all right so the big show is friday night at the colonial life arena you guys take on the general surprise surprise no we're playing the world all-stars this year and oh. you, if you guys want tickets to that game all you have to do is log online to harlemglobetrotters.com there you go real quick before we go can you can you teach me how to do this it is it's the old stick but i need to know how do all i right. do it hold your finger in the air just above your head and the secret is to look away so i suggest look at the camera not the ball Hey guys, there we go. Learning out Globe Trotters this Friday in town. Look at me, I'm ready to play. Almost not, ah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. We are coming back. I'll just be a fan forever. <laughs> yesterday. That's exactly we, right. We are in for a bit of a change today. That's right. You may want to bring a few accessories yes. with you as you head out today, but all nice nonetheless. Right, Tyler? Yeah, you know what? It's true. You, you do want to probably bring an accoutrement or two to protect yourself from the elements today. That is for sure. Uh, but as far as this morning, though, we're looking all right. It's a big word. That's my word of the day today, I guess. Anyway, 56 degrees in Bishopville, uh, 61 in Saluda, 63 in Wagner, and 66 here in the capital city as you're waking up. Where we're going to go to today, well, 66 at noon. We're going to get right back up there after a small little drop at 8. But 75 degrees is where we're going to head today. Yeah, we're going to have some rain, some showers. It's going to last with us throughout the day. But over the overall, setting us up for a nice weekend. Let's go ahead and take a look at some trouble spots you may run into as you head out and about this morning. As of right now, we're getting the all clear. Of course, we'll keep you posted about anything that might impact your commute. Grace.